Hi, I'm Bernicia. Welcome to my podcast, In the Mind of Brit. Today, I'm going to be talking about Minecraft. If you don't know what Minecraft is, I didn't know what it was not too long ago either because I never paid attention because it was a paid game. But what Minecraft is basically a sandbox game, which means you can literally do whatever you want. You can build, you want, you can create a game, you know, create your own little game on your little server. You can invite friends and play with your family. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can, whatever, whatever comes to mind, your imagination just, it's, de- it's a good game for like, you know, to expand, to do whatever. Be your creative self, bring out your creative self. There's also public service where you can play with other people all around the world. Different kind of service, all kinds. So, today, basically I'm just going to be giving you some advice. I haven't been playing Minecraft by a long time. Like it was a paid game, so I never paid any attention. But, you know, I decided one day to see what, you know, see what it was all about. So, pay for it and I played it and I was like oh this is actually nice because I like to build stuff I like to you know create things I like the, I like those type of games you know where you decorate and build your own place or whatever I like those type of games and I really started to get into it then you know I found out on YouTube they're like professional players and stuff and you know a lot of you know you want to know how to play it a lot of videos on YouTube you can learn how to play but for the most part, just do you, really. My advice is do you. Like I said, there are a lot of professional players who are, like, professional players out there who are actually getting paid to play the game. And, like, you know, do their likes and subscribers and all that. Get paid. So, they may tell you some stuff, but I'm telling you someone who's a newbie. Like, just do you. Like, do what you want. Play how you want. Don't let anyone tell you how to play. I mean, maybe some things you may want to get advice from other players, like something, like something, like you want to build something, but you want to check out um, some players online, like on YouTube, you can see how to build it, or you want to, like, do something specific, you may want to look at other players, but for the most part, just do you, create your own thing, but don't let anyone tell you how to play. Like, you know, I know a lot of people say, don't play on peaceful mode. You want to play on peaceful mode, you can start. I play on peace mode all the time. Only switch over. They have different modes. They have peaceful, easy, hard. And they have hardcore, but it's for Java. Um, Java's computer, basically like computer. And Bedrock's more like mobile. I think Windows, I think. Mobile, Xbox. Yeah, I don't know all those things, but I know I play on Bedrock. I play on my phone. But there are different things. You can either play on your computer, your phone, it's boxes. You can play all kinds of systems. But I play on my phone. But, you know, I say peaceful mode, you know, for beginners, you know, like, you don't play on peaceful mode once you get into it. Like, I would still play on peaceful mode because I like to relax and, like, be to build things. Well, I don't like to worry about creepers and mobs trying to kill me <laughs> in game. <laughs> Yeah, that's because one thing, like, you have to worry about is that type of game. Especially, you play on survival. You gotta worry about things trying to kill you. <laughs> to worry about going hungry. Worry about dying easily. So, I play on peaceful mode because it's a lot more relaxed. I just like to enjoy the game. I mean, you still have to, you know, do the same thing. Don't you don't have to worry about in peaceful mode. It's dying from mobs trying to kill you. You don't have to worry about things trying to kill you. And it's a lot harder for you to die. <laughs> it's easy for you to die because it's in peace mode by either um not as easy for you you know you fall it's like you fall from a high place you may not take a whole lot of damage it takes you a long time to like drown and stuff like it's all kind of stuff so it's like stuff like that like they tell you you know you don't play on peaceful mode for a long time you only play when you get started no you don't play on peaceful mode all the time like it's fine like I said, I play on peace mode all the time because I, because I may have just enjoy the game, but still do the whole survival thing, you know, for for material, mine, and all that. I still, you still have survival experience. You just don't have to worry about dying from, you know, things trying to kill you. So if you want to play on peace mode for a long time, that's fine. You want to switch it up. Like, I only change to easy. Like, most of it was easy. So if I have, like, if I'm 
like a, like if I want to kill something, like maybe I want to make a mob farm. Um, we can't do mob farms on peaceful mode because it doesn't work. Because there aren't any dangerous mobs around. So, you can't do it. So, you have to switch over to a different difficulty for the mob to show up. Like, if I have a mob farm or something like that, like, you know, something like that, like, then I'll turn it on easy. But, you know, just play on peaceful mode. I need to kill something. Like, I need a certain material. Like, spiders, if they drop strength or a spider eye, I may find a, a spider spawner or something like that. I may want to turn it on easy and make a mob farm out of it to get experience or something or get string and get a spider eye when I need it like that or if you want bones because you want to um tame some wolves you want to make a skeleton farm something like that you may find skeletons um spawner on your seed that you're using the seed is basically the type of you know area I guess you spawn into it's type of it's like different seeds for different things you know kind of just experiment with those and see what you like. You want the Pacific, like biome, like you want to stay in a desert, you want to try surviving in the desert, or you want to survive in solitary biomes you can, like, you can, you know, spawn in. So you want to spear me with that, or you want all the biomes or seeds for that. You just got the book on my good website that I learned about is Chunk Base, and Chunk Base shows you everything about the seeds you're using. Like, you may want to, when you first log in into, like, um, Minecraft, you need Xbox account, by the way. You need Xbox, you need Xbox account, so to play. If you want to save your, if you want to save your world. Um, but, when you first spawn in, you might do, play Minecraft, you could create a world, or um, whatever, whether it be Java or Bedrock. Let's say I play on Bedrock, so I play on my phone. You can just randomly create a seed and then just copy it down when you see the seed, when you create your world. Go back to the main menu and check out your seed. Check it out on Chuck Base. You can put in the seed. Make sure you put in the right one, whether it's Java or Bedrock. Mm -hmm. Put in the right one. Put the seed in and it shows you all about your world. Where villages are, where treasure chests are, where all kinds of different stuff that. So, Chunk is a good website if you want to know more about your seed. And also, like I said, YouTube's a great place if you want to look for a certain seed. Or you look for a certain thing, you know, you want to see something crazy looking or, you know, crazy seed. Like, you want to test challenge yourself by doing some crazy survival world. Like, you want to be on an island. Maybe you want to try and survive on a mountain. Certain seeds for that. Um, so yeah, there's also mods, which basically to kind of add, you know, a little more fun, a little spice to your game. Like, I like using mods. Mods are fun. But the thing about that, you know, you can't get advancements if you use mobs. At least not, you know, kind of amusing. So when you use mods, like, you want, like, you want some furniture, like, you want some actual furniture, Minecraft furniture in your game. You want to build a house. Or a neighborhood, you want furniture there, some mods, or find a different type of mods for that. Or you want different animals, because you know, Minecraft only have a certain amount of animals and mobs and in the game. You want to add extra animals there, mods for that. So if you want to play mods, you can do that. But the catch is, like I said, you can't do advanced because you're not truly playing the plain survival game, so you won't get your advancements. So you want to do advancements, which is, you know, goals in the game, basically. Like, chop down a tree. That's a goal. You get points for that. And you unlock different things. You like clothes. You can unlock emojis for your avatar. You can unlock all kinds of things when you complete a goal in Minecraft. One of Minecraft goals or achievements, you get something for that. Like, like I said, clothes, you can get accessories for your avatar and stuff like that. So if you use mods, you can't do that unless you find a specific mod where it just give you advancement, like an advancement mod of some kind. But other than that, you can't. You have to, if you want to do, you want to, you know, complete your advancement, you have to play plain survival by itself. Like no mods, no extra stuff, like just how it is. So yeah, like I said, like don't let the professional players out there should tell you how to play the game. Do you like if you need help or something like yeah, like go like 
and then YouTube's like it's very one of the most popular places to watch Minecraft video and all kind of great players out there fresh players out there you know you can look up to if you want inspiration on what you want to do like if you don't know what you do you can get inspiration from them but like I said don't let anyone tell you how to play play how you want to play the whole point of Minecraft you can do what you want the reason I mean of course there are certain things you can't do but you know and you can't do depending on like what you're doing but for the most part like you do what you want and it's free <laughs> like when you want you pay the game it's free like it's not much else you have to pay for unless you want like a private server do you have to pay for that what are certain things in the marketplace which is basically being created by other players not that you have to pay for other than that once you pay for the game that's it you're good it's free so yeah like play how you want do your own thing you want to play in peaceful mode the whole time do you don't let anyone tell you like don't play on peaceful mode only beginners do that like now you want to play on peaceful mode but you prefer like me not to have to worry about dying every five seconds because some snuck up on you trying to kill you you want to just play peace you just want to relax but still enjoy the aspect of survival like forging materials in mine and stuff like that collect materials manually yourself that's the creative way you just go into the menu and just get it you know yeah do it play how you want it's the whole point of minecraft it's play how you want do when you want let your imagination go wow your imagination go just crazy what you want so like i said don't let the professional players out there tell you how to play in terms of you know think for yourself like i said you may want to look up to them and play inspiration like you want to build a certain thing you want to look for a certain house for a certain thing like maybe you want to build a viking village you want to look for some inspiration for other players who build viking village but you know see how you know do it or something like that or maybe you need help building a mob farm or something like that but you know you want experience from killing things like that you know yeah do it like i said just don't let these people other players tell you how to play like if you feel bad like i said i don't care like i play on peace mode until i need to play on like play on easy you know until i need to if i don't need to i'm playing on peace mode because yeah i prefer like i said to just enjoy the game without worry about constantly dying with some sticking up on me killing me then start all over <laughs> like i said but you want to challenge yourself play on like hard mode so, like do it challenges that you want to change yourself you're afraid no challenge yourself go big go home do it but if you prefer like me to play on peaceful mode do it do you know it's just do you play how you want don't let anyone tell you how to play that's the whole point like said, the whole point of my graph is do what you want in a sandbox game that's the point it's the whole point like play with your friends, play with your family, play with your family, y'all can play on the server together, build something, P play one of the public servers that's on there, and you know, meet people all around the world, you know, just be careful, you know, in that, you know, there are a lot of people who have bad intentions and stuff like that, so be careful with that, before stuff like that, you know, always, you know, in that safety, even in games, safety first, you know, so be careful, but still, you know, yeah, so go play Minecraft, if you're a creative person, you wanna, you know, like to build stuff, like create things, that's a perfect place to do it, yes, it's not that bad, the price isn't that bad, but, you know, if you're willing to pay a couple of dollars to play the game, you know, yeah, do it, enjoy it. But there are a lot of alternatives to Minecraft if you don't prefer to play. Plenty of alternatives you can play that are just like Minecraft, like literally just like it. They're just free. If you prefer not to pay for Minecraft, there are so many games out there that are similar to it. So just saying, like you don't have to play Minecraft and really get that same experience. If you, there are other games just like it in the um whatever Play Store, Apple Store. You know, whatever device you use, there are plenty of alternatives. But just in case you didn't know about Minecraft, 
And then like I said, I didn't know about it, really know about it either, not too long, because it's not too long ago. So, yeah. And check out all the professional players out there, you know. There are a lot of plenty of cool people out there doing some great stuff, you know, using the platform to, like, help others, to help charity, do charity and stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening.